That Victorian brother. is a magnificent ship, and we're lucky to have her in our arsenal. Strong something to think about. Proctor. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. <laughs> It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are gonna hold. Are you sure this is safe? Of course. I've checked every connection, every circuit myself. Prime will hold together. Proctor? All the readouts look green? I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module. Online. Audio functionality test. Initialized. Designation. Liberty Prime. Mark II. Mission. The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets, any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime, full system analysis. All systems, nominal, weapons, hot. Warning, nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. I've got green lights across the board here. 
He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. You think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. I have some important work to do, if you'll excuse me. Now that Dr. Lee's arrived, I'm certain she will be vital to the Brotherhood's success. I still can't believe it. Clark confessed to that whole crazy scheme. I've taken steps to make sure nothing like this ever happens again. And I'll try to be a little more respectful in the future. I heard about Clark. Been a little hard for me to take, but thank you for finding the truth. It had to be done.
Excuse me, Elder Maxon. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Not at all. I have nothing to hide. I find that very hard to believe. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. That's impossible. I'm afraid not. The evidence is quite damning. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, he's gone AWOL. Disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you, and then swore you to secrecy. After everything I've achieved, why would I jeopardize my position here? Huh. You make a fair point. Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. I won't do it. Dance deserves a chance to explain himself. What he asks is just wrong. Monsieur Dance is our friend. You will do it. This is not up for judgment or debate. I'm giving you a direct order, Knight, and I expect you to follow it without question. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. Station keeping maintained. Thrusters stable. Attention. Tomorrow's tactical briefing has been postponed. A new time and date will be forthcoming. Oh, Knight. I was told you were coming. Sorry about this business with Dance. He'll be missed. Doubtful. I wouldn't miss a synth any sooner than I'd miss a transistor radio. I was merely sorry that you'd been duped. No matter. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of...
What the hell is this crap about dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate Paladin Dance, and if we find him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're just gonna turn your back on him like this. There's obviously been a mistake, and we need to get to the bottom of it. Scribe Halen! You're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. At this point, I'll take all the help I can get. Very good, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If you'll follow me, sir. Scribe Halen? Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He trained me, showed me the ropes, and when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most selfless person I've ever met. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you, not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being, give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. Is not compassion a worthy virtue? All right, I'll hear him out. That's all that I ask. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. <sighs> Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Just... Be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now. Or if he trusts any of us at all.
Maxon ordered me to follow him to the gates of hell. I'd be the first one to kick them open. But the things you can do with only two hands. Not many doctors around these days. Should let me take a look at you. Catch you up if you need it. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. He never liked to do the dirty work himself. I don't understand what's going on, Dance. Believe me, this is more of a shock to me than it is to you. I didn't know. Until Quinlan got that list decoded, I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? No. 
but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that this must be difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. Technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees, and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. If you really feel that way, why did you run in the first place? The moment I learned the truth, I knew my life was in danger. I'm a soldier, so self-preservation kicked in. I needed to regroup and assess the situation. Once I got here, and I had some time to think, I realized I'd just made everything worse. I should have stayed on the Pridwin and accepted the inevitable. Like I said, I need to be the example, not the exception. I can't tell if that's the human or the machine talking. The fact that you're confused only strengthens my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. Is there any way out of this? We both know that this is the right thing to do. If you refuse to follow Maxon's orders, you're undermining everything the Brotherhood stands for. I can't allow that to happen on my account. No. I won't do it, Dance. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I've already lost my family. I don't want to lose my friend. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I should consider how my death might affect the people that care about me. People like you and Halen. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, I can consider my next move. What's our next move? You need to continue your fight against the Institute. I have my own path to follow. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. How dare you betray the Brotherhood? It's not his fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Knight, why has this... this thing not been destroyed? He's not a thing. He's one of your best men. Have you taken leave of your senses? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. 
Machine is machine. The two were never meant to intertwine. By attempting to play God, the Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about You're me? the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. Dance wants to save mankind, not destroy it. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust. And I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute dance, or I will, Knight. The choice is yours. After all the sacrifices I've made and all the battles I've fought for the Brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. Just listen to me. If I've earned any of your trust or respect, while I've served with the Brotherhood, then I'd gladly trade it to keep Dance alive. You value this machine's life that much. So, it appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of Steel. Should you choose to ignore me, know you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of him. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. <clears throat> it took a hell of a lot of guts to they stand up to Maxim like that. trouble to defend this place. Friends take care of each other. No matter what. That they do. Which is why I've decided to stay here. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post. But it will have to do. Besides, you're still gonna need my help. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Pridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. If you ever need me, I'll be right here. What about Halen? I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. It's the least I could do.
Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. to file a police report, yes? And all the little things go in baggies for evidence. All systems go. We're clear for takeoff. Your minigun should be loaded and ready to fire. Good shooting, sir. Dance was really a synth. Goddamn traitor. Communications array calibration test successful. All bands nominal. Internal monitoring active. Looks quiet. Reporting is ordered, Elder. Before we continue, I want to make one thing clear. This conversation will be the last time we speak about Dance. As far as the Brotherhood of Steel is concerned, he's dead. Do you understand? Of course. The Brotherhood must come first. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. Of course. Dance's execution creates a missing link in our chain of command. That traitor held quite an important position with us. I'm certain that you'll make a fine replacement. His quarters and all his possessions are now yours. Including his personal suit of power armor. Congratulations, Paladin. I won't disappoint you, Elder. Had I even a single doubt in my mind, I wouldn't have awarded you the promotion. Just be aware, 
that a Brotherhood Paladin is expected to be a symbol of integrity to our brothers and sisters. I trust you won't disappoint them, or disappoint me. In any event, we still have the Institute to contend with, and a lot of work to do before we can begin our final assault. While the finishing touches are being put onto Liberty Prime, Captain Kells has identified a potential threat to our operations. Report to him immediately for your next assignment. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Station keeping maintained. Thrusters stable. Ah, Paladin. Good. Now that the unfortunate matter regarding Dance has been settled, we can return to our primary mission. I'm ready, Captain. Good, because this mission demands your full attention. Now, before we launch our attack on the Institute, we need to address another threat. The Railroad. They're a small but capable group that uses subterfuge and guerrilla tactics to harass their enemies. Our tactical analysis says they could possibly hamper or harm our operations, which is a risk I'm not willing to take. If we strike them now, we should be able to maximize the amount of damage we do to their organization. Hit them before they hit us? I like it. Precisely. Destroying the railroad hinges on completely eliminating their leadership. Otherwise, they'll simply regroup somewhere else. To that end, here's a list of the five targets we believe would cause a catastrophic failure in their chain of command. Consider it done. Thank you, Paladin. Now, before you depart, Proctor Ingram has additional orders for you to complete. Our sources tell us that the railroad has some sort of experimental or prototype robot in their headquarters. They're calling it the Predictive Analytic Machine, or PAM for short. <laughs> Cute, huh? They use the robot for complex strategic calculations that are much more efficient than anything we can generate here. If you could use this holotape to decrypt the security on PAM's terminal, it will force the unit to return to the Pridwin. I'm certain we could put PAM's computing power to good use. Otherwise, destroy it. We wouldn't want it to fall into the Institute's hands. I'll try to get it back here in one piece. Good. It'd be a hell of a waste if you didn't. I'm certain you'll do whatever it takes to complete the mission. When you're ready, proceed to the Old North Church and link up with our assault team. They'll provide demolition support and all the firepower you'll need to take the railroad down. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Try and get Pam back here in one piece, okay? was well deserved, Paladin. Motion was well deserved, Paladin.
if it looks dead. Put one more in its head for good measure. Why take a chance? You're an inspiration to us all, Paladin. Do us proud. Let's do this. Nice try. Thank you. 
Something from me? Hey. What do you want? Alive, everyone. I suppose we should dispatch them. Stop right there. Damage. 